How's it going, guys? My name is the Hood Man Brandon. Give me a sec while I adjust my camera. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Um, welcome back to Metal Gear Rising. In the last episode, we fought some things, and now we're fighting this punk. Don't worry, this thing's actually not that hard to fight, defeat, believe it or not. But it is. You don't actually fight many big bosses in this. Like, I mean, by big bosses, I meant. There are other bosses that are important to the storyline, but uh, in this case, this boss is actually big. And uh, it is one of the only giant, like, robot-like bosses. I mean, there's one other one you fight, but uh, that one's a lot later in the game. So, this one is, if you like giant robots, I would recommend fighting. I would not recommend playing this game, but I would recommend playing it just because it is fun to fight. Actually, you do fight other giant robots, but they're not technically like bosses. They, I, they have a help meter like bosses, in the, but they become minions later. Anyway, this thing's actually not hard to defeat because I know how to fight it. And it missed me entirely. What the hell? I mean, I know I'm playing this on normal mode and I've done every other mode, actually, but still. Eh. I'm actually surprised at how weak this thing is right now. I mean, I can literally... I'm not even having a little bit of trouble. I'm not even damaged. This is still one of my favorite games. Okay, you, this thing is done for. 6.7% health against 100%. Top of that tree. Just chop this tree and then kill the gun. It has 0.1% health. Dodge a laser, dodge a laser, dodge a laser. It's of nature. In the light when the sun comes up. I love this music. And I win! I took no damage, so I wasn't obviously trying. Well, of course I was trying to fight anything. You know, when people say they hardly try or they don't try on something, it usually means they try really hard. You let that Prime Minister go. Superhuman Cyborg Ninja. Just slicing and dicing, and... I don't even use stairs in this. See? Watch. I just ninja run over them. That's how good I am at this. And they immediately nuke the place. Yeah, this thing's still alive. I just chopped off its arm. I might actually get hurt in this case, because I'm actually... Yeah, I'm not good at dodging those. Yet yeah, somehow I dodged the second one. There we go. Now we break his face off. I don't know which is better, him with the face or him without it. I'm not sure. So let's just chop him up some more. I thought I got rid of all these guns. And 
and no more. Okay, this blade mode. I'm unstoppable! Okay, that stops me. Okay, that hardly ever happens, believe me. And when it does, it annoys me as hell, because all of a sudden I'm running on stuff and then a rock just suddenly crushes me. Oh well. Say about your arm. Step, 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 step. Thanks for breaking my clock tower. And he has my sword. We, we. Take my sword. And let's just... Chop him in half. Now that's how you do it. You let that Prime Minister down. You know, when I think of him running like that, it makes me think of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I have enough time to do anything else. I'm actually going to have to stop this video here. It's a little early, but uh, I apologize. I like, plus, this is actually the f probably the one of the only times I'm going to be able to end this without the video cutting out by itself, like my latest videos have been. I honestly have no idea what's up with that. It might be lack of data space. It might be lack of... It might be just the thing for shorting out. I'm not sure. Anyway, like and favorite if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and maybe I might just make you a member of my Hoodman clan. I'm just kidding. Anyway, hey, hey, until next time, guys, I will see you all in the next video.